Nord VPN did the money thing. Thank you. Now, everyone has their own way and reason for getting money. All right, like, come on. From office jobs so you can feed the kids to selling things in class so you can get the $4 lunch at school. Everyone has something. Now, for me, uh, back in high school, I had a good real people job at Target. I'm pretty sure that's not the name of the store. And the reason I got the job is because I didn't really think highly of myself. And I'm pretty sure that's not why people usually get jobs. Yeah, I, that sounds weird, I know. See, there are other reasons too that I wanted to get a job to buy a car so I wasn't lame or have money to go places with said car so I wouldn't be lame. But at the end of the day, all those things come together to help with my self image, both in my eyes and to other people. So it's a self esteem thing. God, how insecure are you? Yo, being broke took a back seat to being cool when it came to having a job. So yeah, it was, mm. Yikes. But that's a whole other bottle of trauma for another video or therapy session, whichever comes first. But for the lady that I was checking out at the time, I couldn't really put a reason down why she needed money. But I did know how she was trying to get it, by scamming me. By having me literally hand her $500 out of that register. And I honestly might give it to her. So this is what no pussy does to a mother uh, that was aggressive, and, uh, no, it wasn't that. Okay, I know we're starting off pretty heavy, like, why did I give a random lady $500 if she didn't have a gun to my head? Well, will everyone take a seat, and let me explain a story about how some woman scamming me taught me a lot about my own self-worth. Okay, first of all, you'd probably think scams are something that happened to old people on the phone or via sketchy online ads, but no, scammers are everywhere and often try to manipulate service workers, that being me, in this case. From counterfeit coupons to someone literally counting cash in front of me to exchange, hoping I give them more money. I never had someone prey on me for not being good at math, but hey, there you go. But this was one of my first where someone almost solely used their words. Oh boy. So one day I'm checking out people as I usually do. And this lady pulls up to my lane with a lot of purchases. And I'm talking a lot of purchases, like a cart front to back full of whatever white suburban moms like to buy. I don't know, like lamps or something. And she's making it a thing to have conversation with me, which usually I'm completely against. I am there for the check, uh, get in and get out. I'm an introvert, non-confrontational, so I always against being talked to. But this time was different. She just had an air about her. She was sweet, nice, and most importantly, hitting me with compliments. Oh, you're such a handsome young man. You know, stuff like that. She just had this attractive air about her. Also, uh, she was very attractive. Here's where the whole self-worth thing comes around. Someone cute thinks I'm cute and is telling me I'm cute already feel a lot better about me. And it's thanks to her. And the bar continues to lower. Yo, look, you have enough teenage girls call you ugly. One suburban mom giving you a compliment is out of this world, okay? So I scan all of wifey stuff and we're making jokes at each other and laughing. And then I look at the screen and I tell her the total. Three hundred dollars it was a lot of lamps okay it was a lot of lamps so wifey karen breaks out cash like big dollar bills and i'm like okay wifey karen a good conversationalist and had the money so while she's still talking me up she hands me the cash and i look at it and my heart drops i was distraught the money is fake like like clearly fake like the money's so fake she might as well have handed me those golden monopoly dollars but they look like the normal bills but they felt like paper so as i'm looking at the cast she's continuing to be nice and i get a really uneasy feeling i feel like it's pretty obvious what to do here right but my brain is going into loops i think to myself okay okay this is clearly fake money uh, but but the lady's kind and, and so uh, maybe she doesn't know she, she doesn't know fake. yeah all right so the best thing to do is to let her know they're fake uh, and, uh, confrontation or not just just let her know it's the right thing to do so just hand her back the cash girl. just go ahead hand it back hand it back thanks i accepted the money you just took it like that i mean she was nice and i don't really want to like cause anything what no put does to a mother <sighs> No, it's more about the insecurity. If I had to put it in any way similar to that, it's the no pussy of the heart. See, that makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know, I just felt so weak. And as I said, I wasn't really the confrontational type. But what really got me was that she was just so nice. She was kind to me. She literally pushed up my self-esteem in those 10 minutes she was in the aisle. So I kind of just let it slide. Anyways, I'm starting to put the money back in the drawer feeling a mix of emotions, but at the very least, 
relieved like at least the interactions over i guess i could just consider this the fee of being kind so as i start to close the register wifey karen says hold, hold, hold on a second literally reaching her hand over the counter to touch my shoulder with a soft smile says wait actually also can you break this change too i'd like it in all 20s she then hands me two hundred more dollars of monopoly bills ah crap all right bro at this point okay i see what's going on homegirl definitely wasn't doing this accidentally she was intentionally trying to get money from me why else would she out of the blue remember she just had more cash to turn in she's clearly using me because she already got money out of me so all right at this point, I see that all these nice words were just really to butter me up and make it harder to say no. And yo, thankfully, despite my feelings about confrontation, I told her no, called the manager to handle it, and everything was resolved. Is what I wish happened. Why am I not surprised? Yep, you know what it is here. It's low self-esteem leads to bad decisions, but it's a YouTube channel. Look, for one, I still don't want to deal with the confrontation, right? I mean, she was nice and sweet. It's not like she's hurting anyone. Also, I don't care about Target. It's not my money. I get your bag, I guess. So, reluctantly, I gave her the 20s. I'll grab. This really is what no p does to a mother. Yes, stop. I know. I know. And after that, she dipped. But for some reason, I can feel a pain in my chest, right? Despite everything I just thought out, I didn't really feel like I made the right decision. Yeah, it's a little thing called guilt. Ever heard of it? You ever heard of it? Yeah, I wish I could hear less of you. No p <sighs> No p mm -hmm. uh, At the end of the night, my manager ended up coming by and checking the bills in my register. And oh, he gave me an earful like yo there is actual monopoly money in the register like come on how did i let this slide but then he said something to me that made me realize i made a mistake you know what this means right she did not respect you shocked i couldn't really process what he said look kid i've been working here a while and if i've learned anything it's that the scammers here choose their targets tactfully she picked your register on purpose because you seem like the easiest to fall for her scam that kind of hit me but then what he said next hit even more she didn't really respect you she thought you were easy to manipulate and what's wild is that i was every thought i had about confrontation and being nice to people and my self-esteem she used that to get what she wanted and i didn't realize it now look do i feel bad about tarjay losing money no not really but this woman using her words because she thought i was weak preying on my low self-esteem that hurt more than any 300 dollars could i don't know it made me realize if i was ever put in that position again that i should be insulted that someone would look at me and be like i can easily scam them and if you watch my growing up ugly video then i can say this is also a contributor as to why i decided i wanted to glow up i wanted to be better i wanted to change i wanted to feel better about myself i wanted to push through the bullying and have more confidence both on the outside and on the inside so i tried and the next time i ran into a scammer well that's a story for another day. Now, I'm not protected from the real life dangers of suburban moms trying to scam me. What, what I am protected from is the dangers of suburban moms trying to scam me on the internet. Ooh. So if y'all don't mind real quick, let me talk about this video sponsor, NordVPN. Also, they were my first ever sponsor on the channel, so I have a lot of love for them. See, this may sound weird coming from the guy that just gave $300 to a stranger, uh, but you have to be smart when interacting with questionable new things, whether that be soccer moms or public Wi-Fi. And using unprotected Wi-Fi, much like accepting fake bills, is pretty dumb. It's pretty, pretty dumb. Hackers can easily access your information on any public Wi-Fi, and you might end up losing a lot more than $300. Social media account passwords, your personal passwords, it's all on the table. So to avoid being me, you might want to consider Nord. Not to mention, NordVPN gets you access to things you shouldn't have access to either. Like it's a VPN, but it also does the opposite of a VPN. Life's weird, I know. Mini story in my story, but one day I was on Netflix and wanted to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I couldn't, despite the fact 
I literally live in Brooklyn, but it's whatever because all I had to do was jump over to Canada with NordVPN and boom, like life makes sense again. And why Nord specifically? Well, it was selected as best VPN in best VPN awards for 2020 by one of the most trusted experts, VPN mentor, and is recommended by the top technology experts like Forbes, Huffington Post, and BBC. So if you want to be protected and have Canadian Netflix, go to nordvpn.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie to get 70% off plus one month free and for NordVPN's birthday, every purchase off a two-year plan will get you one additional month free and a surprise gift. So if you want to take advantage of that amazing deal and support the channel, which please you should, go to nordvpn.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie and use the code Kurt Ritchie. Thanks guys. Yo, what's good? It's, it's your scruffy boy. What's up? Yo, thank you so much for watching this video. You should do more of that. Yo, yo, so if you like this video, please check out the last one. God, I am scruffy. Homeboy need a shave. What the hell? If you like this video, check out the last one. It's about drinking and uh, alcohol and uh, me hating parties. It sounds like a lie, but it's... also, yo, um, please check out the Patreon. <laughs> Those people help me feed myself and I really appreciate them. So please check that out. Uh, there's something in it for you aside from all the awesome dope rewards not only that but some patrons get to join me on streams and i stream almost every weekday over on kurt stream my other channel so check that out uh that's it y'all much love and i'll catch y'all next time peace